so the plan for today is to uh, fit the uh, uh, ViewMax uh, ViewCube 2 uh, permanently to the uh, roof of the caravan. Right, I uh, purchased, purchased uh, some uh, dual uh, cable with the uh, uh, factory fitted uh, ends. Um, I've marked the um, receiver one uh, in red and on the opposite end in red and as that will go into the receiver and the uh, the other cable which is not marked off uh, goes straight into the sky satellite box obviously when I'm not using the uh, sky satellite box everything just runs on the uh, on the one cable uh, halfway down oh I would have said probably about um, 12 12 to 18 inches down I've uh, marked off um, just a bit of uh, uh, red uh, this is so that when I mount uh, the satellite um, dish on the roof of the caravan I know how far the cable will stretch um, to the hole which I'm about to drill into the roof of the caravan I've uh, just offered up the uh, mounting bracket mounting plate uh, to the view cube uh, and as you can see with the center screw in here it is uh, catching on uh, this here uh, now there's a few ways around uh, this uh, one when that is on you could uh, leave it as is what this does is though it raises the back and uh, obviously it's uh, more potential for the wind to get on there and uh, lift the view cube up off the roof and uh, bang goes with that and more damage uh, the second one is to leave the screw out completely third one is to cut a notch into the uh, plastic or the fourth one which I'm going to do is just drill another hole in the base plate to one side so it misses uh, that altogether which I think is the uh, easiest method and more secure for the uh, view cube for the roof and uh, that's the uh, second hole drilled in the base plate this is the uh, setup I'm using. Uh, this is the MaxView ViewCube 2 receiver. It's uh, upside down at the moment. Um, there's the uh, power on button and the uh, scan button. It's uh, stuck on and then screwed in. Sorry about the dogs barking in the background. Uh, this is uh, my Freeview uh, satellite receiver and my plan is with doing it this way on uh, this platform is that i can fit underneath uh, my sky uh, hd uh, receiver uh, you can see on the top here i have a hdmi uh, splitter uh, here i have a um it's for the uh, I have an external hard drive which I put some DVDs on and the external hard drive goes through this into the splitter and then plays through the TV obviously you can see uh, uh, dual plugs here I do have uh, the uh, surge protecting uh, dual plugs uh, so I've got two dual plugs surge protectors one for each side because I do have the four plug sockets one for the receiver, one for the DVD player, um, one which is for the microwave, which is also in there, and the fourth one is for the skybox. On the underneath of uh, the receiver, uh, you can see here I've got the uh, ex external, which goes to um, both receivers. That's the 
skybox and the free view and this is be the internal uh, entry system as you can see I've extended um, short extension leads on the internal it just makes it easier to uh, put the uh, internal cables on with with it being so fiddly inside the cupboard uh, I've had to put a, a T-joint on here because obviously I'm uh, splitting off one will go to the free view box when that's in use and the other one will go to the sky box when that's in use so it's one box per at a time when each box is in use uh, and this is the uh, underside of the uh, external hard drive uh, receiver so this is the cupboard above the microwave uh, this is where I have previously previously had my uh, um, free view satellite system uh, as you can see by the uh, wires in the back um, in the past I've uh, used these two for uh, the sky receiver and I've had this one here uh, for the uh, free view so that's that one there uh, you can see in the back there's the uh, plug that comes in the uh, 240 volt and I've uh, also fitted a 12 volt um, cigarette adapter for the uh, max view uh, view cube 2 uh, receiver uh, that operates on the uh, 12 volt system Right, that's the uh, view cube to off it up to the roof of the caravan. Um, you see, there's plenty of room up here. I'm uh, trying to keep it away from the vents as much as possible, but also trying to keep it central in a way above the axle. It's not too heavy, so I think it was, I think it was advertised at three and a half kilograms. So what I've got to do now, just get me a uh, marker out, mark where the plates are going, clean the areas up, and uh, we'll take it from there. Right, that's the mounting plates, uh, stick flexed and screwed. Let's hope I've got my uh, markings right. Otherwise, the satellite dish isn't going to fit on them poles. Right, I've uh, pre-fitted the cables because I'm thinking leaning over on the caravan roof to fit them cables can be a bit of a pain in the backside. So, uh, like I say, pre-fitted. Hoorah, it fits. All I gotta do now is put the uh, bolts on. Now about bolts. And that's it, all bolted down. Next thing, just do a dirty great big hole in the roof of my caravan for the aerials to go through. Next thing I have to do in this cupboard is to drill a pilot hole through the roof of the caravan for the uh, cables to come down from the uh, view cube to one pilot hole drilled from the inside of the cupboard now to widen it uh, for a twin cable it says to a 20 mil drill bit unfortunately i don't have a 20 mil drill bit i've only got a 19 mil drill bit so that'll have to do one 19 mil hole in my roof oh my god what have i done well, that's the top hat on. Uh, put some sticker flex around it just to hold it in place. Uh, Deburred the uh, hole that I drilled. Uh, got a bit of a, a straight run here, which I'm going to stick uh, some plastic uh, sheathing. Uh, I think it's called uh, electrical trunk. Just some uh, stickers to hold the cable in place while everything uh, sets off. Uh, and now, now 
to get that in place along with the trunking. Alright, that's the uh, top hat in place, just got to tidy it up. There's the uh, trunking, or trunking, whichever you want to pronounce it. Uh, and I'm going to go very liberal with the sticker flex inside and outside of that. And the same on that. There we go. All uh, masticked up. That's the outside done. Okay, uh, fitted everything back into the cupboard. As you can see, I've got the uh, surge protection plugs in there. I've labeled them up so I know which is which. USB, uh, DNA is because it's underneath and I can't get to that socket. Uh, satellite, uh, that satellite is for the uh, free view. That's the ice encrypted. Uh, and you can see I've got uh, the sky sockets on the top, uh, the microwave as I said, um, the view, max view, uh, cube uh, 2, there's the receiver, it's on, uh, satellite has locked on, um, it's locked on and there's me, uh, there's the telly, perfect picture, I've turned the sound off because of copyright. And uh, next thing is to get the uh, Sky HD box and uh, plug that in to make sure that works. Okay, uh, I've got my uh, Sky satellite uh, receiver HD box um, set up, plugged in. The view cube is uh, locked onto the satellite and it's showing a uh, the N, uh, NCIS uh, Los Angeles. Obviously, I've turned the uh, volume off for copyright. Um, yeah, uh, brilliant picture. So, the uh, only problem I have got is the HDMI cable. Uh, the uh, splitter box uh, didn't want to know. So, I've had to run the HDMI cable straight from the back of the uh, Sky box and straight into the telly that way instead of going through the uh, splitter box. So that's uh, uh, another little project for me to sort out. Right, 